What is the role of journalist in the society based on, on the rule of law? Where is the boundary between populism and persuasion? And what kind of role a journalist in, in the ecosystem based on the rule of law and constitution uh, should play? I don't buy the term post-truth. Truth is or truth is not. The change that is crucial and little understood at the same time uh, comes with the changes in technology. Images replacing the text, uh, impressions and emotions replacing factography and uh, text as such. And journalism, which used to be elitist profession, tied with uh, multiple ethical and professional standards, regulations often, public service and, and so on, is uh, gone, really, because everybody is a journalist now. If there is something with eternal value, it's the truth. The truth will always help people, or be helping people, to differentiate between good and evil. And that's what journalism is about. I work in a research company and we have quite strong evidence that role of media in agenda setting of both first level and second level uh, is quite strong in Czech Republic in core issues like immigration and we have this proved on uh, electronic measurement of the media which proves uh, how big impact has exposure to, for example, a uh, refugee topic to the, to the viewers of, uh, of television in Czech Republic. I think it's core issue of where the populism arises from, and it's connected to the to the topic of the post truth and and uh, media and so on. Uh, I don't know how is it in your countries, but in Czech Republic, populism is always, uh, sometimes described as uh, promising something which is not uh, realistic and so on. However, uh, when you see what is the current wave of populism, the the one common thing is creating distance between elites and common people, between the good uh, common people. That's common for, uh, for, for Le Pen, Trump, uh, Zeman in Czech Republic and so on. And I think that is the reason why populists usually attack media, because uh, almost every, every one of them does it, because media becomes part of these uh, elites which are not on the side of, of common people, of course, and it's one of the targets, uh, especially when you get uh, to the power, then you cannot attack the government and so on, so you have to find another institution, another elites to attack and be on the side of the common people against the elites. And in this so-called post-truth era, I hear more and more uh, very high-level uh, um, um, officials and uh, uh, politicians telling us as soon as we fix fake news, everything will be wonderful in our societies. And we will live in some kind of rosy world, which is not the case. Uh, in my view, you know, journalists, um, no matter if they work for Media House, no matter if they are freelance, no matter if they are working for alternative Media House, they are supposed to be people <laughs> you know, that are standing and saying to public, Actually, this is not the truth. Uh, what you are being told is untrue, of course, if that is the case. And what you are being told is not the whole story. And here is the story based on facts. Here is the story that is fair and impartial. This is the story that is accurate based on research, based on analysis, based on checking, double-checking, and triple-checking.